Hold on to your seats, NBA fans. The 2024-25 season is brimming with surprises that could flip the script on the league as we know it. Can the Orlando Magic, fueled by their recent playoff success, snag a game-changing trade to solidify their rise? Will Lonzo Ball, fresh off a grueling injury recovery, dazzle us once again as he takes the court for the Chicago Bulls? And let's not overlook the Rookie of the Year race, which could be a jaw-dropping showdown among a slew of first-year sensations eager to make their mark. Plus, the Oklahoma City Thunder are poised to steal the spotlight with their young trio of stars eyeing all-star recognition. With so much talent and drama brewing, this season promises to be a roller coaster of excitement and unforgettable moments. Get ready. This NBA season is about to blow your mind. First up in our fun surprises is the Orlando Magic, who are clearly on the rise after clinching the number five seed in the East last season. They're like that underdog story everyone loves. Think of them as that scrappy team that shows up to the tournament with a band of misfits and leaves everyone wondering how they pulled it off. But hold on a second. They're not just basking in last season's glory. Nope. They're diving headfirst into the hype, even throwing a three-year, $66 million contract at 31-year-old role player Kentavious Caldwell Pope. That's some serious confidence there, like declaring you're ready to run a marathon after finishing your first 5K. But let's pump the brakes just a little bit. As exciting as their future looks, the magic might hit a ceiling if they don't address their offense which was dragging its feet last season, ranking 22nd in efficiency. The worst among all playoff teams. Hmm, yikes. So while Caldwell Pope's shooting and the continued development of Bonchero and Wagner are promising, they'll need more than that to really take off. What they really need? A trade for a perimeter net shredder. Add a sweet shooting shot creator to their guard lineup, Anthony Simmons. Can you hear me? and we could be looking at a serious contender. With a stash of draft picks and prospects ready to go, the Orlando Magic should be ready to make some noise on the trade market. Keep your eyes peeled for them to snag a high-end, offensive-minded guard, and watch as they rise into the top four seeds in the East. Conference Finals, here we come. Okay, what do we have next? After nearly three years of battling a knee injury that required three surgeries, it seemed like Lonzo Ball might be destined for the what could have been section of basketball history. Even when optimistic reports about his rehab trickled in, skepticism was the name of the game. Who could blame us? But then came the day that changed everything. Lonzo Ball made his preseason debut for the Chicago Bulls. And it was anything but his simple feel-good moment. This guy looked like he stepped right out of a time machine, channeling his pre-injury self with a dazzling display of smart plays, long-range shots, and defensive chaos. More importantly, Lonzo was able to focus solely on the game, leaving the worries about his knee behind. So of course the Bulls are going to play it ultra-cautious with him. You can bet his minutes will be monitored like a hawk, and back-to-backs probably not happen. But seeing him return to form gives us hope that his comeback could stick. Here's to Lonzo suiting up more than he sits this season, because who doesn't love a good comeback story? Next up, let's dive into this 2024 draft. Now, if you've been following along, you know this draft has been all the rage, mostly because it lacked a clear-cut number one prospect and was labeled as a bit light on star power. With no one really stepping into the spotlight, it's reasonable to think we might see a, a similar crowded rookie of the year race. But what if it's not just a default traffic jam of rookies? What if we've got a handful of players genuinely deserving of the spotlight? I know, I know, you might need a few shots of off-season optimism to fully buy into that idea. But hear me out, it's actually kind of exciting that so many first-year players are off to a flying start this preseason. Take Zach Eady, for instance. He's been dominating the interior like a boss. Zachary Rizacher. Looks like a natural fit for a 3 and D role, while Alexander Saar seems to have shaken off his summer league shooting woes. Then there's Tijan Salarn, already showing off his two-way potential. It's like a rookie showcase and everyone's trying to steal the show. And the hits keep coming. Ryan Dunn is putting himself in the rotation mix in Phoenix, and Tyler Kolek 
is doing the same in New York. Jalen Wells is making waves and might just earn himself a spot in Memphis's rotation. Kaishawn George has been on fire a few times and Dylan Jones is connecting the dots in Oklahoma City. Donovan Klingon, yeah, he's been a beast on the boards. If even a fraction of these hot starts hold up and top prospects like Stefan Castle, Reed Shepard, Ron Holland, and Matas Bucellis start finding the rhythm, we might just have one of the most thrilling rookie of the year races in recent memory. Who knew a draft season that started off looking dull could lead to such excitement? Buckle up, folks. Our surprising thing list just got a new entry. Cam Thomas is officially a bucket. This guy has been making waves since his days at the legendary Oak Hill Academy, where he left as the program's all-time leading scorer. Then he took his talents to LSU, where he was cooking up a storm, averaging a jaw-dropping 37.3 points per 100 possession during his one-and-done collegiate run. Talk about putting on a show. Since joining the Brooklyn Nets as the 27th pick in the 2021 draft, Thomas has been lighting it up with an impressive 22.8 points per 38, per 36 minutes, and even 25.7 this past season. He's not just any scorer. He's a capital S scorer. And with the Nets in the midst of a rebuild, he's poised to showcase that scoring ability early and often. But here's the kicker. Who's even competing with him for shots on this roster? Mikhail Bridges is out of there. And Dennis Schroeder looks like he could be heading for a trade. As for Ben Simmons, and Nick Claxton, their bread and butter is on the defensive end. With all due respect to Noah Clowney, Derek Whitehead, and Jalen Wilson, there aren't exactly any blue chip prospects clamoring for development touches. So whenever Thomas hits the hardwood, he's in for a buffet of scoring opportunities. If he gets enough playing time, he started 51 games last season, logging a career high 31.4 minutes. He could have a legitimate shot at cracking 30 points a night. Imagine that, a guy who might just become the least likely scoring champion in league history. Who knew Brooklyn's rebuilding phase would serve up such a tasty surprise? Last but not least, on this surprise list is the intriguing case of the Oklahoma City Thunder and their potential all-star trio. With the NBA's new collective bargaining agreement making it tougher to maintain super teams, it might be a hot minute before we see a squad with four all-stars again. But three? That's still on the table, especially when some of these players aren't yet getting paid like stars. The Thunder, brimming with youthful talent, have only three players making more than $13 million. We've all watched Shea Gilgis Alexander evolve into a bona fide MVP candidate. But let's not forget Jalen Williams, who is crashing the most improved player race, and Chet Holmgren, who's hitting the ground running as a redshirt rookie. And just 23 and 22 years old, respectively, these guys are nowhere near hitting their peak. Talk about a recipe for potential. There should be plenty of shots and touches available in the Sooner State for both Williams and Holmgren to keep ramping up their scoring. And it's easy to get carried away imagining the possibility. Williams averaging 19.1 points and 4.5 assists last season, while Holmgren posted impressive per game numbers of 16.5 points, 7.9 rebounds, and 2.3 blocks, and also adding 1.6 three pointers. Honestly, they don't need to make huge jumps to enter the All Star conversation, especially if the Thunder can carve out their identity in the crowded Western Conference. So if all goes well, we could be looking at a Thunder squad that not only disrupts the usual power dynamics, but also potentially sends a trio of stars to the All-Star game. Who says rebuilding can't be exciting? Let's see how this young talent shakes out. And there you have it, folks. The 2024-25 NBA season is going to be shaping up to be a wild ride filled with surprises that could turn everything we know on its head. Whether it's the Orlando Magic's ambitious moves, Lonzo Ball's inspiring comeback, or the heated rookie of the year race, the action is just getting started. If you're hungry for more jaw-dropping surprises and bold predictions that could shake things up this season, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. And stay tuned for part two, and let's see how this thrilling journey unfolds together.